one ungrateful Mrs. Bush that they are finally bringing civilization to this savage land. I could not agree with you more, my dear. My dad settled this land, and I know he'll be looking down on us. Please, how we help the natives. Yes, they've lost their land, but they've gained access to heaven. Do you mean unless an innocent receives communion, they're destined to go to hell? Uh, it hardly seems fair. What I mean to say, Jenny, is that there is a great deal of difference between an innocent and a savage. I never thought of it that way. Yes, they live like animals, but they're happy now. <laughs> Not only do people now have motor cars, Father, but I heard that pretty soon we will be able to fly. No, only angels can fly, Jenny. No, no, apparently people can fly. Didn't you hear? Out in Kansas, a man even got a car to fly. <laughs> I hardly think so, Jenny. Apparently. Mr. Johns wants to run for governor, which is why he's so concerned with cleaning up the state. Nate Johns, yes. His family is nothing but the hillbilly trash that came here after the war. I don't want to be judgmental, but this state should not be ruled by such a disgusting family. A family without class. Apparently, the John family have made a lot of money, and he has a lot of friends in politics. Mrs. Bush, money isn't everything. There are many things that money cannot buy. It seems that money can buy voters, though. What you must remember, my dear, is that we have been brought here to spread the word. And the word and civilization, they are the same thing. They are the gifts. It is the opportunity we have, the chance to live among people who are decent and who do not kill each other, and who let you worship in peace. Uh, it, it's so confusing, Father. Sometimes I find it impossible to make the distinction between a loving act and a hateful one. I mean, they often seem to be the same thing. Yes, Jenny, it, it is confusing. But you only have to ask me if you need help. Indeed. Well, here we are, Mrs. Bush. Armadillo. 